I love to drink. We're, we live in Wisconsin. You guys totally get me on that. I've been training for drinking my whole life. Not Man, it's so interesting when I think about people wanting to have kids because I don't know where I sit on that. Some days I wake up and I'm like, I'd love to have a kid. And some days I look at other people's kids and I'm like, nope. I don't want to do that. And I feel like a lot of people procreate for narcissistic reasons these days. Me and my fiance had this one couple that we loved to do everything with. We would go out with them, we'd go on trips with them, and then they got married and we got really nervous that we were going to lose our party buddies. And they were like, no, it's okay. I promise you, we're going to be the cool parents. We're going to not have kids for like four more years. And two months later, bam, they're pregnant. And I have lunch with this girl one day, and I'm like, why did you get pregnant so fast? And she's like, we were just really anxious to see what we could create. <laughs> oh, so you made a person? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Want to see what you can create? Go to Ikea, get a table, put that together. <laughs> if you can assemble an Ikea table without fighting, that should be your prerequisite for procreation. <laughs> Pretty sure Ikea has all of our answers. I don't know if I should ever have kids. Has anyone ever pinched a baby because I didn't want to hold it anymore? <laughs> Just me. <laughs> I've, I've basically pinched every kid I've ever held. <laughs> It's an amazing feeling to be done, and then it just cries, and you give it back. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> it works. It works every time. I've been pinching babies since 99. <laughs> I started drinking in 1999 at age 14, and that's because of Wisconsin, because we train our kids right. <laughs> And that's why I'm so good at drinking now and why I'm so responsible, because I've had 20 years of experience. <laughs> that's the longest amount of experience I've had in anything. <laughs> at all. It's double the amount of experience I've had in comedy. Like, I'm crushing it on the drinking side of my life. I feel really proud of that, but when you're in your 30s, your doctors are less amused by your ability to throw back. So I'm at my doctor's, and she's giving me one of these forms for the first time. Have you guys ever gotten those forms, those forms that judge you about how much you've drank in a week? You only start getting them in your 30s. But this particular form only had three options. It had three boxes to check. It said drinks per week, one to three, four to seven, eight to 10. I'm like, I'm sorry, who does this apply to? <laughs> 10 is the max? Is your week on a Tuesday? <laughs> and so I drew in a, a fourth box, and I wrote 16 to 26. But in parentheses, I wrote depending on the week. And my doctor did not find that funny at all. She looks at me, and she's like, oh my god, you drink a lot. And I was like, well, all my friends drink that much. And she was like, well, technically, that's functional alcoholism. And I was like, well, then I guess technically all my friends are functional alcoholics. <laughs> and she was like, well, maybe you should consider getting some new friends. I'm like, maybe you should consider getting some new fucking boxes. 